So Taurus has never been one to fear innovation, sometimes bringing out products that we find curious. Like the Judge Home Defender, which I just got a chance to shoot and was pleased with all around and really enjoyed my trigger time with it. Or the Curve or the Spectrum 380 and its litany of colors, the most superior, of course, being the white and teal, of which I'm still trying to find one to put into my collection. Other times, it's along development routes that we find not surprising at all. And, of course, the GX4 was their entry into the high-capacity subcompact market. With an 11-round magazine in the base model, these performed really well and sold just as well. So, just as unsurprising, we saw their XL version with a 3.7 inch barrel, and now we have their carry version. But was the juice worth the squeeze? Well, let's find out. The Taurus GX4 Carry has a 3.7 inch barrel, a 15 round magazine with a generous base plate and texturing in case you need to strip it, something I never experienced while I had to. It has an overall length of 6.40 inches, a width of 1.07 inches, and a height of 5.15 inches. The weight is 21.51 ounces. Taurus is very specific with its sig figs in its marketing. Everything is DLC coated. We have a length of Picatinny rail for accessories there. We have a serrated flat face trigger and their signature indexing and recoil management pad. This little bit of texturing right there. And finally, it is cut for an RMSC pattern optic on there. The front sight is polymer, which polymer sights suck, but Glock's still rocking it, even though we told him we hate it for a long time. The rear sight, however, is a serrated metal rear sight, and I really do like that. Now, my first rounds to the Taurus GX4 carry were actually at a competition. And some people may say that would be a bold choice, but I felt like it was a good trial by fire. I got to run it through stages of Steel Challenge, USPSA, and IDPA. And my experience with it was that it ran flawlessly that it was easy to control, flat shooting, and reloads were easy with it. I did not run the red dot on it at that time because I didn't want to jump divisions and complicate things for myself that day. But I was running middle of the pack with a compact pistol in a competition day.
Well, the iron sights were a little bit coarse for the smaller plates on Steel Challenge. It was when I mounted an optic and started running defensive drills that Taurus GX4 carry really shined. On my example, I mounted a HS407KX2 red dot on here and went to town. The long grip allows for an easy master grip and quick draws with it. The stippling exfoliates a little bit, but it's not uncomfortable in the slightest and allows for a nice secure grip. I didn't change any of the back straps out. I never really bothered doing that. The magazines were easy to strip again because of the grooving that they have on the base plate there. Thank you, thank you, thank you Taurus for putting a proper 1913 Picatinny rail on here. Not some proprietary rail that I have to go through three different vendors and two adapters to get a proper light on there. So I mounted my Streamlight TLR1 on there. And when I went through dot torture, bill drill, and some other defensive drills, I really gained an appreciation for the handling of this. Okay, now it's time to hurt some feelings. Every manufacturer is gonna have malfunctions. I do not care if it is SIG, Glock, HK, all of them will fail at some point. And I've seen all of them fail in the field with me. Now, these are complex mechanisms with lots of interfaces. Between us, the system, ammo, the environment, failure is gonna happen. That being said, with just shy of 500 rounds through the Taurus G4X carry, I had not one single malfunction or issue. Now, it's not until I hit about the 2000 round mark that I feel like I've got a good handle on a system's reliability. If you told me that I had to take a late night stroll down a street in a meth house toilet of a city like Chicago or New York, I would not feel bad at all with this as my companion while I did that. We are living in an absolute golden era of the high cap concealed carry system. And Taurus isn't afraid to jump into the deep end. The GX4 carry is a phenomenal addition to that roundup. You've got a solid base now, Taurus. Let's have some fun. Let's have some of that crazy that we all just kind of thirst after from you guys. Anyway, I'm Chris with Jerry'sOutdoorSports.com. Come check us out online or in the store, and I'll see you next time.